Welcome to the Curly Express. Right here. I thought I'd do a short layout. If you can hear me over the loud engine. That baby's always loud. Then you can't even hear this one. Well, I haven't done a layout update in a while. And, um, in the last update, I think you guys probably recall, um, the last one you recall, I have problems. Oh, I lost my pointer. Oh. My last update was this curve. Remember this curve? Well, I made a lot of changes on this curve. I added on this much so I can get this curve wider. And uh, I moved this board here out because I have, you know, I'm going to change my lining one of these days. Oh, look at that. Who's that? How come that's so blurry? Mom and Ray, they're watching trains. They're watching me when I'm working on my layout. Alright, so, I moved this out. I got plenty of room. It's, it's two inches. I use this here two by four. Here, piece of two by four. And, uh, oh man, that's not two inches. Oh, I think it went this way out. No wonder. So it's two inches there, see? And I moved this track too, the inside track. Because there was all kinds of problems um, in this area here. I still got to move my cork bed. I don't even have a cork bed under that one. Uh, so, I think this is pretty much done. This area here. I haven't run no feeders, though. Oh, that's a, not a feeder. That's a pin. See, look at it. Here they come. Plenty of room. Not even close. I gotta watch my 3D printer getting low on filament here. <sighs> All right, so, yep, I took this bridge out and, uh, <sighs> hold on a minute. I am right, back. Uh, so I was having all kinds of problems with this with that bridge being here being here and that made um there wasn't enough room on that bridge so i was squeezing this inside track over this way to fit inside that bridge i don't only got these things in here temporary until i figure out what i'm doing but, um, so when I was making that, this inside track go this way, it was screwing it up down there on that area down there where that switch is to go off to the branch here. And, um, so now I don't know. I would have to have a pretty wide bridge to, uh, accommodate. Let me see. This real quick. Is this just not uh, wide enough? I don't know if people know this. I 3D printed this bridge, and this is two bridge, and I spliced it down the middle and made it wider. Well, I, it should have been a little bit wider. 
then maybe it would work. But, uh, I had to do a lot of work down around that curve where the train's coming right now. That was just all out of whack. And uh, after I took that, take it, took it off that bridge, it pretty much strained out a lot. So I'm 3D printing a, uh, another bridge, and I might end up because I'm not fine. I'm not buying a, a double track bridge. You know how much those things are. Up to a hundred dollars, if not more. Uh, so I, uh, I do have. I'm pretty. I'm starting. I've already started a couple times. Here's a couple parts of it, right here. I gotta sit down, guys. <sighs> Well, here's a couple parts of it right here, see? But, um... Whoops, sorry, friend. So, this is, the, this is the original size? This is the original size. But I had a hard time of printing it, and it wasn't working good. I laid it flat. And it didn't do any better. Uh, stood it up. I'm, I'm, I got another one going right now. Um, I'm going to watch that. So, I might end up printing all these up. And, and do like I did the old bridge. And cut it to make it a bigger, wider bridge. Hey, we'll see when time comes. I have to print up all the parts for it right now. It's okay if this is long enough. So that's what's been going on. Curves fixed. Inside tracks fixed. But I just got to figure out what I'm going to do for a bridge. I ain't paying $100 for a bridge. Cheaper for me to buy uh, print up a bridge. That's it. Oh, watch out. There's Jerry. He's still checking out those tanks down there. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. Catch you all later. Bye.